brilliant speed with vibrant service, vibrant broadband internet. All right, 1030 here on KLFD, AM 1410 and FM 95.9. I keep asking the question, who wouldn't want to be vibrant? Mm. And there are three people here to tell you. woo Well, thanks for having us, Randy. And welcome to another Vibrant You Live. I'm Jane. I'm Nathan. And I'm Bo. So last week we talked about football. Uh, there's been some changes in how you can actually view football this year. So if you missed that, you might want to watch the recap or go into our uh, Facebook page and check that out. Um, And speaking of that, this week, if you are not local, uh, the Vikings, you can only actually watch them on Amazon Prime. Yeah, good news is Amazon Prime is the the strict exclusive rights to Thursday Night Football, but when it's your local team playing, it is also aired. I think it's going to be on Fox 9 for us here in Minnesota. So you don't necessarily have to have Prime for tonight's game, but any other Thursday Night Football game this year, you'll need Amazon Prime to watch it. And interestingly enough, I went on Amazon this morning and on the upper right hand corner, I, there was this clock counting down and I'm like, what's happening? So <laughs> to it's, see how uh, bad the Vikings will lose by yeah. with the Eagles. <laughs> Go Eagles. No, so the pessimism. has. Oh, it's weird. The game hasn't started and Kirk already has two sacks. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, he's here all day, folks. <laughs> um, so this week we're actually going to be talking about Wi-Fi calling. And we have some seasonal packages for people that are snowbirds or um, moving back home from the cabin. And then uh, we have an event coming up, Dreaming of Streaming, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But I have a trivia question for Randy. (laughs) He normally is asking the (laughs) question. All right, right, here we go. So what happened this day in history in 1935? Think local. Local? Mm-hmm. Local? I would say that um, um, the co-op was created. You are correct. Ding, ding, we did not think you were going to get it right. Wow. No ding, prize ding, money. Ding. You're, you're going to get a Mall of America haunted yeah. house. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Onion Heads Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> so 88 years ago, pretty awesome. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, and speaking of the co-op, you know, we've been talking to a lot of our members and our customers uh, about cell phone coverage. Um, you know, now there's been a lot of coverage issues with, um, you know, cell phones not working. And there's been, even in the last decade, places that we service that just have really, really poor cell signal. I don't know if anyone lives in Forest City. I worked for Verizon, um, and for seven years, Forest City was just, every time I heard that, I'm like, well, you don't have cell signal there. So we've been happy to be able to actually use what's called Wi-Fi calling, which is the topic of the show today. Today to help people make calls that don't have cell signal. So what you can do with Wi-Fi calling is even if you have poor cell, cell signal, if you have good internet, you can connect your phone to what's called Wi-Fi calling to boost your cell signal. So you can make calls, you can send texts in places that you haven't been able to before. Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest, probably single biggest benefit, like Bo mentioned, is is using it where you couldn't use it before. So, uh, my, for instance, when I moved into the house I live in now, just outside of town, when I ever go, went in my basement, zero. I couldn't make a call, couldn't do a text. If I was hanging out in the basement, no one could get a hold of me and vice versa. But as soon as I got solid Wi-Fi, with like fiber and Wi-Fi, I can switch over to Wi-Fi calling. And now I can go anywhere in my house, up, down, whatever. And it, as long as I'm on Wi-Fi, I can do calling and texting all day. So yeah. if I didn't have that, I'd be in big trouble. Similar at work. You know, mm-hmm. we kind of work kind of the center of, of the building, which is kind of a big, pretty uh, thick-walled building. Without Wi-Fi calling, we basically would be out of luck for cell signal. Yeah. Um, so many other people are the same way. You work in a warehouse, you work in a big building, or you you live a little rurally, or you mm-hmm. you, know, you know live in a basement. You're not going to get cell signal all the time. So as long as you have reliable Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi calling is going to be better than, than your cell signal. Yeah, and it's free to use. I mean, all your phones that you have come with it. It's just a feature you have to turn on. Uh, and there are other apps besides just the cell on your phone that you can use. You can use uh, Skype or WhatsApp. Those are really, really 
really popular, especially for international calls, or maybe you've used them for like a group meeting, and you know those just need Wi-Fi to work. So it's it's available in multiple different uses. Oftentimes, your audio quality is actually going to be better to you on Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. So your cell network, you know, it's not always the most reliable. I mean, it's covering massive distances, and it's it's going to vary. But your Wi-Fi, you know, is based on your internet. If you have solid internet, for example, Vibrance uh, internet, uh, your Wi-Fi calling is actually going to have better quality. So you're actually going to get a better call. On also international call. Bo mentioned some of these apps that are used. You can actually call someone internationally by using WhatsApp or Skype or FaceTime or uh, Facebook Messenger, all these options. And you can have a call with someone or a video call and it's completely free. You don't have to pay a dime for it. Normally, by dialing with your regular phone or you know picking up a landline and you call another country, that can oh, get yeah. crazy expensive. Um, but now, because everyone generally has internet, even in other countries, you can do this stuff uh, a lot more affordably. And then one of the other cool features I like to highlight that people don't always use, but um, you don't necessarily have to have your phone by you to make a call now. If you have your tablet that's connected to the internet or your computer or even your smart watch, you can actually do a lot of calls now through those devices um, and you don't have to have your phone nearby. So if you have your phone somewhere else, but you on a computer, you can actually make a call through that, through the internet. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. All right. How many times have you been somewhere and you keep looking at your phone and it's it's trying to find signal, find signal and your battery is dying? So by you going with Wi-Fi calling, it actually reduces the battery drain on mm-hmm. your phone. And that um, is helpful, especially if you don't have a charger. Yep. Uh, the other thing is video calls. So a lot of people are working from home right now and uh, we... These are, these are great for video calls. You can do Zoom, FaceTime, anything like that. Um, and it also helps with um, keep your relationships that are long distant. Yeah, and it's really easy to set up. A lot of people know Wi-Fi calling, but have no idea how to set it up on their phone. Uh, we actually just looked at our phones. So I have an iPhone. Nathan has an Android phone. Uh, on an iPhone, you want to go to your settings. You want to go to cellular. And then Wi-Fi calling is just a toggle on and off switch. So just make sure that's on. And then in, on an Android, you go to your settings and connections, and it's under that. Um, so you can turn that feature on. Once it's connected, you don't have to play around with it. You don't have to turn it on and off. Basically, when it needs to use it, it'll, it'll use it. When it knows cell signal will, will suffice, it'll just use that. So not something you have to you know babysit or keep an eye on. And then for emergency calls, it's really important, too. There are some times, like Nathan said, in his basement or you know at work in the middle of the building, if something were to happen and we didn't have Wi-Fi calling, that cell signal wouldn't do us any good. So it really is kind of a peace of mind thing to have too. Yeah, so, I mean, all in all, Wi-Fi calling can save you money. It can get you signal where you didn't have it. We get the question all the time, you know, Wi-Fi is great, but can it can it give me better signal on my cell phone? Well, the answer now is yes. So you can do calling and texting and all through there. So stay connected, even if you don't have good cell signal. Perfect. So speaking of being connected, we have a lot of snowbirds. We have a lot of people that own cabins and kind of go back to reality, I guess, in a sense, after um, summer is done. So Vibrant offers a couple of packages that I think are really important for those, our members, basically. So first off, we offer, uh, it's called a Cabin Connect package. So if you need a little bit of juice at your cabin or your home because you have smart devices, uh, you want to keep an eye on the electricity, you want to pay attention to cameras, anything like that, we have a package that's just for you. And then the other option is, uh, it's called... I'm drawing a blank now. It's called seasonal package. And basically, if you want to just leave everything out there and give us a call when you're ready to reconnect, everything stays out there. It's it's just a seasonal package. You don't have anything out there. You just stay within your yeah, contract. You're not paying and, your yep. full rate you yep. know, when you're not there. A little bit of a discount. Yeah. And, how, and how both packages work, it's a maximum of being off, you know, or being on those packages for six months and then give us a call during office hours and say, um, you know, I'm leaving for the, I'm leaving for the winter, shut me down. And then when you're ready to reconnect, give us a call and then we'll reconnect you again. And it's, it's literally a call. Yeah. I know more and more people, especially for a seasonal place that you're not at all the time are adding like a camera or two or smart thermostats. It becomes super, super popular to kind of keep an eye on your temperature or adjust it. You know, if you're heading to the cabin in the winter and you want to warm it up before you get there, you can actually do it digitally, but you need a little bit of internet for that. 
that's where right. that cabin connected is really, really good. And the other thing, too, we, um, we have campgrounds. We have done a lot of work this this spring to get mm-hmm. a bunch of campgrounds connected. And those are seasonal packages as well. And so if you if you work remote and or actually I, some of my friends from my previous job, um, they're out of Minneapolis and they they actually go to Lake Ripley and they stay there all summer and they just pay for that Internet for a couple months and then they head back to reality after yeah. that too. Uh, the other thing is uh, Meeker Cooperative, if you're a member and you are a snowbird and you're not at your home all the time, you can certainly utilize a text messaging system that we offer. Uh, if you have concerns about the electricity going or when it's uh, restored again, you can go either give us a call and we'll help you set that text messaging up or you can just go on to our website and sign up for yourself. Yep. Yeah, and we mentioned earlier about an event coming up as well. So tomorrow, uh, Thursday, we have our another Dreaming of Streaming class. So we call it Dreaming of Streaming because we know people that, that would like to stream or would like to learn more about it, but just don't have, you know, there's not a lot of avenues you can go, a lot of places you can go to to learn about some of this stuff, especially if you're not, you know, super technologically savvy and you're, you know, unfamiliar with some of the new stuff. So we do these classes. They're free. They're welcome to anyone in the public. You don't have to be a Vibrant customer. You don't have to sign up for Vibrant. Uh, we usually get a great turnout, usually 10 to 20 people or so. We usually do a, a presentation style in the, in the beginning to kind of explain what streaming is, what are the benefits, you know, can you save money, can you get more programming, can you get both? Uh, and then we also have a demo uh, time at the end where we have a couple TVs set up and we can answer questions and show people how it works. And, and it's a really great class. Like I said, it's free. It's open to the public. It's just free education for people that are interested in learning more about it, see if it's a better deal for them. Uh, it's going to be tomorrow at the Meeker Co-op office on Highway 12. It starts at 5.30. We're going to have um, some snacks and some non-alcoholic beverages. I believe Randy said he might be there paper bagging it, but... Um We'll see if he if he's there or not. <laughs> um, he's pregaming for the Vikings. Yeah, <laughs> we can't blame him. The Vikings, as we well. mentioned, play tomorrow night as well, and that that should you know we should be able to wrap up the. If you want to come to that, then go home and watch the Viking game. We shouldn't go too late into the the Viking game or anything because <laughs> we want to get home and watch that too. So, five thirty tomorrow at the Meeker Co-op office. Yeah, and if you want to catch any of these uh, episodes again or send them to somebody that you think that might be beneficial to, you know, we have them on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. You can just search Vibrant Broadband, um, or you can also, you know, listen live here every Wednesday on KLFD at 1030. And if you do have questions for us, feel free to stop into the office, or you can call us at 693-3231 or visit the website, vibrantbroadband.com. Because who wouldn't want to be vibrant? Yeah, even Randy's asking that that question. question. Randy wants to be vibrant. All right. Well, thanks, KLFD, for having us. Thanks, Randy, and great job on answering the question. Golfers clap for you. you. (laughs) Um, And the audience, thanks for listening. I'm Jane. I'm Nathan. And I'm Bo. Tune in next week for another Vibrant You Live. Vibrant broadband internet. Vibrant broadband internet.